Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today we're going to make an easy tri-fold with pockets and a flip book. But first let's have a shout out to Sherry, Karen, Hershey, Black Coffee, Salina, Kelly, Barbara and Angie. I appreciate each and every one of you. I have a beautiful digital here from Ruby and Pearl. I do love yellow. And this is approximately 10 and a half inches by eight. But you can make these really lots of different sizes as long as you can fold it in thirds. As long as you can take what you have and fold it into thirds, then you can make it. So this is first fold is approximately three and a half inches. So I'm just lining it up here and I'm going to go ahead and crease it. And then I'm going to fold this one over right here. It's not quite three and a half. It has a little bit of space right here that you can see. That doesn't come all the way over to the edge, but that's okay because we're going to use it like this. The next thing I want to do is I want to round my corners. So I'm simply going to place my two corners together like this. Bring in my corner rounder and just snip off the corners there. Just like that. Now I have already inked around the edge, but I have not inked where I just folded. So I'm going to do that simply by rubbing my sponge with my vintage photo. I'm going to fold it back the opposite way and rub it just a little bit. I just like the look that it gives. Now if you don't ink, there's nothing wrong with making things that aren't inked. I just personally like it. So now our little paper looks just like this. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to bring in my black stays on and I'm going to open it up here and I have just a very small little script kind of a paragraph script paragraph and I'm just going to ink this up and I'm not even going to make sure it's all inked I just want to put a little bit of a, a few little words right here on this so it's okay if it doesn't print out all the way. I just want a little bit of printing on there. So I'm going to put this over to the side. So now you can see what we look like. Just like that. Now I have some journaling cards. These are from My Porch Prints. And I would like to make these into tuck spots. So I have inked around, I have rounded the corners, and I'm simply going to glue it right here onto the corner, like this. So getting my art glitter glue, I'm only going to apply my glue on three sides so I can make a tuck spot. Just like this. And then I have some larger journaling cards. Bingo! <laughs> and I just thought the B uh, theme would go well with the yellow. I have some beautiful sorry silk. Oh my goodness, now I do love yellow and this is gorgeous. I have split it so it was a little wider and I just opened it up, made a little cut, and then just ripped it. Because what I want to do is right here, let me move this out of the way. Let me put my lid on my glue. <laughs> first things first, guys, put the lid on the glue, move this out of the way. Now, you're going to be able to see what I'm doing right here. As soon as I wipe this up, I don't want to get that on my shirt or anything. Not that my shirt's anything special, but... <laughs> okay, I'm going to lay just a little bit of hot glue down. You can use fabric tack. If you want, I'm going to place my sari over the top and I'm simply going to push it. Now, I have done this with a card before, but lately I've just been using my fingers. 
So if you would rather use it with a card, then you can do that. And I'm just, I'm just squishing it. I'm not even what I would call pleating. I'd call squishing. I'm just squishing it on there just to give it kind of a squishy look. <laughs> Literally. I mean, it's just, it's just squished on there. I like that look. I think it's really cute. So I'm just going to trim this off here. What I do want to do is make sure that the, the ends are really secured down well. So I'm doing that by adding my glue. Now, like I said, you can do this with whatever glue you like to use with your fabric. And I'm just going to trim it just like that. All right. Oh, I think that looks so very cute. Now I'm going to bring my trifold back in. See, that just jazzed it up, didn't it? I really like how that look, looks. Now what I want to do for the other side is exactly the same. I have another one of those little cards. It looks a little different, but it's this out of the same digital kit. And I'm just going to add my glue on three sides and simply place it down right here. Press it and make myself a little tuck spot with it. And I want this card to resemble the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in my Sari Silk. And I'm going to be placing my Sari down. And then just giving it a little pinch. Just pinching it along, lifting it up, adding just a little bit more. Now I do it in sections because of the hot glue. If I was working with something that wasn't hot glue, like for instance, um, fabric tack, I probably could put a larger, maybe even do the whole thing at once. But the hot glue sets up so quickly that I just do it in sections so as not to wait too long and have it dry and then I'm gonna have a glump of glue and not have a pleat. So that's why I do it in sections. But you can do it all at once if you're using something other than hot glue. And I use hot glue because it's quick, it's easy, and it's great for videos. So here we are bringing this back in. We're going to put that right there. Oh my goodness, you guys, we already have two tuck spots. So what are we going to do right here? Well, I have torn um, some paper. I have some lined book page that I coffee dyed and I have some copy paper that I coffee dyed. It even has just a corner that's gotten wet and torn. That's okay. I don't mind. And this is three inches across and it is 11 inches long. So I think I want my book page to be on the top. So I'm simply folding it in half. That's all we're doing is just folding it in half. And I want to place it maybe about right here. I think that's what I want to do. Now, let me grab something real quick. All right, you guys. So, you know when I got the idea to make pattern paper ruffles? Well, I made a whole bunch of them, and I absolutely love them. I've had so much fun using them that I thought that I would like to use them in this as well. So what I want to do is I'm going to take my art glitter glue and I'm simply going to glue my little flip book together. Now if you like staples you could staple it. Actually in my example that I have, I've made one that's an example, I took it to the machine and I sewed it across there. But I know that not everyone has a machine or that you have a machine and you choose not to use it with your paper, which I understand. But this way, I'm just showing you what you can do if you just have glue. So I just glued it all together and I'm going to place it. Hmm, let's see. I think I want to place it right here. So what I want to do is I want my ruffle to cover up the top of my flip book. It only has four pages in it, but I don't want to make it super thick and make this too bulky because you could slip this into a belly band 
or another tuck spot. You can send it out in happy mail. You can have it a standalone little item. So I didn't want to make it too awful thick. But what I want to do is I want to cover up the top of my flip book with this. So I'm just going to mark it right here. And that's for me to say, okay, Kathy, you need to place it about right there so that the ruffle will cover it. I'm going to stick with my art glitter glue and I'm simply going to add glue right here on the top of my pad and I'm going to just lay it down just like that. And that obviously was a little much, <laughs> but that's okay. Just wipe it off. Okay, now I would like to put a little bit of some net on the top. I didn't do um, a lot of fabric on here, but I just thought it was really cute with the polka dots. So I'm simply going to take my scissors and I'm going to pull this up a little bit. And I'm just going to trim it off. I want it to be, um, I, I think I want the paper to stick out on the bottom. So I could have used bigger scissors, but that's okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so there we go, and it's not straight, it's kind of cut wonky, kind of like that. Now I'm just simply going to glue this right on here. So adding my glue, and I'm simply going to glue my net right on top. Now maybe you don't have net, maybe you just have some fabric, that's okay. Um, just whatever you have that will go with your theme that you're using. Now, I'm going to glue that right on there just like that. I think that's super cute. I am going to go ahead and make a fresh cut right here. I can throw that away. don't need to save that. I'm going to place it all the way across from my fold to my other fold. So I'm just simply going to place it right there like that. And I'm going to add my ruffle. Now I do need to add my ruffle so that I can still close my book, which I hope I did that on this one side. I'm hoping I can still close my book easily. Not bad, but I think I want to trim it up just a little bit. Or maybe it's fine and I just think it's an illusion. No, I think it's more than an illusion. There, I'll trim that up just a little bit. And let's see. Yeah, let's just trim this one up a little bit more. There we go. All right, so now we look like this. And since we have the, the ruffles up there from the pattern, the pattern paper ruffles, how about if we add maybe a little bit right down here? I'm not real sure. Maybe. Hey, I have not thought of it sticking out. What would it look like sticking out? Now, I can't really have it sticking out here because it folds. So that's going to make it too bulky, but I could put a little, I'm not sure where, I kind of wanted it to uh, blend, you know, have it tied together, have the look tied together. What happens if I just place some right here? I think that will be just fine. Let's do that. Let's just place it right here. We don't have to worry about that tuck spot right there if we do that because we just have a small journaling card and then I need to do the same on this side. So just, I think I'll glue it down first and then cut it. Oh, I don't want to glue my tag in. Oh my gosh. Not that. Okay. And then just trim it. And once again, I need to trim a little bit more or it's going to be in the way of my fold. Pick it up, Kathy. It will feel better that way. There we go. All right. Now, to finish off this part right here, I think I'm going to take some of my sari and simply place it just like this, just as long as my paper pad little chop and then where is my dish my dish is right here let's put some bling 
let's put a little bit of bling right there. So I'm just going to glue these this together. So taking this, I'm just going to glue it together. Maybe something like that. Pressing it down. Just so it's flat. Okay. So I just glued it so it's flat. And I'd like to lay it right there. Just see which way I like it better. I think I like it the, the way it looks better this way. Adding a little bit of glue and simply gluing my little my little sorry streamer. I guess that was what we could call it, a sorry streamer. That sounds like it's, oh, I'm so sorry. It's a sorry streamer. No. <laughs> I don't know, that sounded funny to me right there. But anyway, a streamer with our beautiful yellow sorry silk. I, oh my goodness, isn't that cute? Now, I do have some labels here. And I do have some butterflies. I don't know. I know we're working with bees and all that stuff, but I thought hmm, maybe it'd be kind of cute to put a butterfly on here. I don't know. I'm not sure. I haven't really I could put a butterfly in here. I have yellow. I do have yellow. Those are green. I do have yellow. They are super cute, aren't they? Um, I have another yellow one. I do have another yellow one. What does that look like? Is that too hokey? Hmm, I'm not sure. I do have some more net. And what happens if we put a little bit of net underneath this one like that? No, I kind of like that. So let's go ahead and let's just glue this down. And I'm using hot glue because... I'm gluing the net down when I glue the butterfly. So I wanted a stronger glue. And then, I don't know, shall we take it over here and maybe do something like that? I don't know. I'm not quite sure about all these butterflies. How about, let's look at some labels that we have. Maybe something like that might work better. Label in a butterfly, maybe. I kind of like that. I have a smaller label I could stick right here on the bottom. I'm just getting my head in the picture. I don't like it when I get my head in the picture. Um, okay, guys. I probably should have stuck it underneath here like that. That's cute. Okay. I can stick it under by just picking it up and pushing it on. Just like that. And do I want to do all this up here? I don't know. Maybe yes, maybe no. Mm, I haven't decided. I think it might be a little bit of an overkill. I think. I don't know. I kind of like it. I kind of don't like it. Let's try this again. Okay, there's that, and then maybe just the label here. Ah, I don't know. I think it's a little bit too much. Something about it I don't care for. So, I'm not going to do anything like that. I'm going to leave it just like how we have it. But let's talk about a closure. We're going to need something to keep this closed. So, I'm going to take a paper clip right now. And I'm going to just paper clip it closed so it will be closed for us while we work on it. Now I have this. And what I did was I took, now this is out of a clip art book that I bought on Amazon. I think it was Botanicals. And I obviously cut it out. And then I inked around the edge. And what I did was I took a piece of copy dyed paper and I would I would have cut this right here and then I inked around this and I rounded the corners just a little bit and then I took my picture my botanical and I just glued it on now here I actually took it the machine and I did stitch it a little but you wouldn't have to do that 
So that's how I made this right here. Just like that. So what I want to do is I want to use this as my closure. And I'm simply going to wrap it around. I think I don't know, the color of it is beautiful. I don't want it this way because it's, even though the colors may be a little better, it's signed right here. So I do believe this is the top and this is the bottom. And I don't necessarily have to have it half and half, but I think it's turning out that way. So let's just fold it in half, just like that. And then I'm looking for something. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to find the halfway mark on my little trifold here. And it's going to be about right, I think it's right here. So there's two lines there and two lines there. It's just right there. So that's where I want it. I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to apply my glue to the back side. So applying my glue, loading it up and just folding it over. Now I'm making sure that that is still where I wanted it. Is that where I wanted it? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. So, pressing it down, getting it glued on. Okay. Now that's going to open up like that. Now I need to wipe off this extra glue that's coming out. Okay. Now right here, I want to make another little pocket. I just think that would be so cute to make a little pocket right here. So that little piece of coffee dyed paper that I was using as an example, I am simply going to, what happened to my, oh here it is, to my pencil. I'm going to mark it about right here and maybe about right here. So what is that? That is about, it's about an inch. It's about an inch. So let's go ahead, woo. Let's go ahead and let's bring in our cutter. That's too small, Kelly. We're going to have to use a larger cutter. And let's simply cut this right here. And then let's cut it right here where we marked it. Okay, and let's ink it up. Looks like I need to get a little bit more ink on my sponge, but that's okay. And let's glue this down. Looks like I'm going to round this corner right here. And I'm going to round it pretty good so I can move it over. Because you want to move it over so that it will close. You don't want to butt it up right against that trifold because you need to give yourself a little bit of space to be able to fold this nicely. Once again, we're making a pocket, so we're only going to glue it on three sides. Right here. And simply place it down like that. And I'm going to think I'm going to trim off a little bit on this side. And I'm going to grab a little tiny little uh, tag. All right, so I've got my tag. You see I'm a little over, so I'm just simply going to trim it. And I really like this little tag. It's a chapter one paper. And I've got a little piece of that sorry left. And so what I want to do is I'm simply going to stick it in the little tiny hole there on the tag and then just glue it on. I'm not going to tie it because I think it will make it too bulky. I'm just going to glue it just like that and stick it in. Now I'm going to trim this off because I don't want it sticking above 
my closure. So just like that, I just trimmed it off. And looking at this, maybe this is where I can stick my little butterfly. Now that might be really cute. And I have some of the net. That might be super sweet. Now I do like that. So I'm going to go ahead and add my glue. And I am using my hot glue because I'm gluing down the net at the same time. All right, so now we still need something else, right? I have circle closures here, portfolio style closures. We have made them before with the one inch punch and then you just keep stacking some cardstock together and you use paper, digitals or scrapbook paper, punch a hole. This is with UV resin. Uh, you could also use the, oh, what's that called? I always forget what that stuff's called. It's called, you can use the glossy accents. You could do that. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> so let's see here. Do I like that one? Or do I like this one? I think... I don't know. I think I don't know. This one, better here or better there? Hmm. For some reason, I like this one. Alrighty, so what I am going to do, I have another piece of cardstock. It is the same size hole punch. Okay, so, not hole punch, same size punch, circle punch. I'm going to mark where the hole is on my portfolio closure. So it's marked. I'm going to bring in my hole punch and I'm simply going to punch a hole right where I've marked it. Okay, got that done. I've got my brad right here. I'm going to place my brad through the top one and through the second one. And then I'm going to open my brad up. I've got glue all over my hands, you guys. Alrighty. And then I am simply going to glue it right there on my closure. So adding my hot glue, you can add whatever glue you like, and I'm just going to glue it right on just like that, holding it down so it grabs a hold and it's permanent. And then I'm bringing my sari back in. I love that sari. And it is from Crimson Heart Studio. I will list it down below. And I simply I'm going to place my sorry in between, it's kind of a big piece of sorry, in between my two circles. Just like this. Just like, just like something. Just like this. Placing it right through. Just like that. I need a little bit more space. I always like to tie my knot in the direction in which I want to pull it. And I want to pull in this direction. So I'm simply going to give a little tie right here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tie a knot. I didn't leave myself much room now, did I? I should have left myself a little bit more room. Okay. Just like that. Okay, and then simply pull it around and place it underneath again. I probably should have made this sari a little thinner. I wonder if I can still do that. I think it's an awful thick piece of sari. I wonder if I can untie it now that I've tied it. Yeah. I can get it untied. Hang on just a minute. I'm going to untie it. I'm going to make it skinnier. All right, so I've got it undone. When I was doing it, I was thinking, I think this is a little thick. I just kept going. <laughs> so we're going to fix that. So this is what I mean by opening up the sari. Just open it up like this and then snip it right in the middle and then just rip it. Well, Oh, that's because there's a seam right here. Sorry, it's sewn together. 
and seams and sections I should say so that has a seam and I ran into a seam so we'll just do it again right there and then just rip it there we go now it's ripping down it will rip down until I reach that other seam okay so then you've got threads that you gotta fix True sorry rips. If it doesn't rip, it's not true sorry. And I have purchased sorry that was supposed to be sorry that wasn't true sorry. So that is, I know that Cindy has true sorry. She gets hers from India. Alrighty, so now it's all over my fingers. All this. <laughs> okay, alrighty then. There we go. Get it off my fingers. Now let's do this again with thinner piece of sorry. Now underneath there. Oh, that's so much easier. And then you're just going to tie a knot in the direction in which you're going to pull it. Just like that. And then just pull it around and underneath. Oh my goodness, just like that. How cute is that? Now you can cut this one shorter or you can cut it totally off. Now I do have a little bit more bling. At least I thought I did. All right, so I grabbed some. I have a little bit of bling. I'm going to add it right up here. Just like this. And then I have some coffee dyed tracing paper. And what I want to do is I'm just going to tear it. I'm going to squish it up. I'm going to get it all squished up. And I'm going to open it up. Just like this. And then I'm going to just run my sponge over it. Just so it picks up the wrinkles. The wrinkled areas. Just like that. I'm going to glue my label right on there. So... Adding my art glitter glue right on, pressing it down, just like that. And then I'm going to tear it. So now I'm going to tear around my label. Just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and Ink it up just a little bit more on the edge where we've torn it and glue it down right there and I don't know I just think it it looks nice plus it kind of brings in that ruffle that we have on the inside I'm not sure if I want any ruffle on the outside I don't think so see I just don't think it looks right on the outside but I do like a little bit of that tracing paper on the outside. And then we open it up just like this. And then we have our little, our little pocket right here. We further open it up. We have another little pocket right here. And then we open it and we have our flip book. And then we have another bingo card right here, journaling card. I do like it with just one butterfly right down there at the bottom. I really love how this has come together. So let's look at the other one that I have made. I use some Chevy Dabby Doodah paper and let's see what that one looks like. Oh my goodness, I love that lime green sorry silk and that closure right there. There's the bling. And there's the label with the tissue paper and then we're just going to open it up and then there you go you have your little this tiny little tag and then on this side oh my goodness look at that it's gypsy journals I think is the name of where I got this from and then this is a chapter one paper tag and I put some of that ruffle right here with the sorry and then open it up and this other one is on this side 
and then it's got the same center. Oh my goodness, I think that looks spectacular. I absolutely love this project. I hope that you have enjoyed it too. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.